So welcome to my channel. This is just a quick one about measuring change. Someone asked a question and it stimulated a bit of a conversation about CBCTs and the importance of gaining evidence of gaining skeletal change, you know, changes in the structure. Now, there's a lot of talk about using cone beams or CBCTs. You've got to understand that outside of the United States, people are much more conservative about taking quite such large x-ray doses just to check things, particularly on young growing patients. I don't think CBCT can be the way forwards. We've talked in the past about using photographs. I'll put the link underneath for the medical facial overlay and you can use single, you know, photographs, lateral photographs, scientifically, we're trying to use lateral photographs scientifically to try and understand, you know, and, and reference change. If you're going to do that, you really need good photographs. I recommend taking a photograph with a, a camera, a zoom, a camera that you can zoom in, a decent, proper SLR camera. I use a 200 millimeter camera and we zoom in from about four meters away so that we get rid of parallax, which is really important to do. Always use artificial lighting because it's reproducible. Now, I think where we're going is 3D, because if you can take 3D images as often as you want, it is a photograph at the end of the day, and then you can chart your progress. I've really struggled with 3D scanners. I mean, with last six months, we've been trying to buy this scanner. It's just a hell of a problem. Um, to upgrade the one we had before. What there is though, you know, many of these cameras, many of these modern cameras can take 3D images. Basically what the software does is it uses your camera lots and lots of times and then averages the results out to, well, I would imagine a relatively accurate, I mean, we did look at, I think it's down to about a tenth of a millimeter. Anyway, that I think would be your best way of measuring change at the moment. It's a relatively simple method. It should be relatively easy, you know, but take what method you can, because we do need hard evidence here. We need to, if we're going to get better, we need to make this feedback loop. That's how research works and work out the best way to get structural change, because that will help enormously for people to get functional and postural changes and of course, improve their health.